To donate to the food bank is only do what society should have everybody do. We think what the food bank does is great. We, we love the food bank. We feel like the food bank is family back. We're here to give back. We're here to give back. The food bank is a little bit, as a person, it's what we should be doing. Uh, the food bank is a little bit unique compared to a lot of social service agencies in the community in that the clients we serve are, are other social service agencies. And what we do is act as sort of a central clearinghouse for donated food, collect that from the community, uh, provide the warehouse, the refrigerated trucks, the staff with health and safety training, and distribute that to agencies that have feeding programs. Those agencies reach about 25,000 Hoosiers each year uh, through a variety of programs, soup kitchens, food pantries, low-income daycares, youth programs, senior programs, and, uh, and a number of other efforts throughout, uh, throughout our service area. We work with um, about 100 nonprofit agencies that we distribute food to. Some are in Bloomington and Monroe County, and some are in five other counties. Um, some of those agencies that we work with are places like Mother Hubbard's Cupboard, which is a food pantry in Bloomington. They receive about 30% of the food that we distribute in an entire year. They either come to the food bank to pick up food or we are there delivering food to them. Mother Hubbard's Cupboard gets all of our food from Hoosier Hills Food Bank. And last year we distributed over 700,000 pounds of food. So that's it's, it has a huge impact for our programs. We couldn't do what we do without the food bank. Uh, we're currently serving 1,633 people in need every week. Uh, over a third of those folks are children. We, we love the food bank. We feel like the food bank is family. Um, we've been shopping there for the past 11 years, ever since the beginning. Um, Mother Hubbard's covered, and so the food bank staff are incredibly helpful and work so hard that it, it makes our job a lot easier working with them. Another agency we work with is Community Kitchen. They are a soup kitchen in town that provides immediate meals for individuals. We think what the food bank does is great. Without the food bank, those of us who are either food pantries or kitchens here in the community would really all be left to our own. We're really dependent on for a steady supply of a wide variety of foods, which makes our job a lot easier. But then some days it's like you come back with featherweight. We are going to the loading dock at Jackson Creek Kroger to pick up some skids of milk they said they have. Four skids, which is extremely rare. If I get milk at a place, it's usually like at the most 10 gallons, and that's that's rare. So I would get a bunch of milk. It's pretty awesome. Usually from this one, I'll get one box or two boxes, and from the new West one, you know, I'll get a little more. They uh, keep their chunks, as they call it, and I can take the stuff on the top. We got some pears in there. And then it's just miscellaneous stuff usually. It's a really great program, you know, taking food that's going to be thrown away. We get rid of it almost on a daily basis. It's really great. elevator headed up to the kitchen of Tudor Room. Tudor Room is one of our very loyal daily donors to pick up some of their excess food. We come here every day during the weekdays. Tudor Room is one of our largest and longest running donors. Normally what we do is we pick up in these uh, sterilized containers and we label everything from the day it was made and the day it was donated and the tag that we'll use for our sampling process later. Restaurants and producers can donate food to the program as long as it hasn't been time temperature abused, contaminated, or otherwise uh, badly out of date. And then we use it the same day we will go uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, we repackage the food and put it in the deep freeze that very same night, and then it goes to the agencies almost the next day. We repackage meal share food Monday, Wednesday, and Friday evening. And oftentimes there's 20 people in the kitchen each evening. So those are 20 different people each three nights a week helping us pack the food. And then during the day, we have volunteers that come in to help us in the warehouse as well. We're here to give back. We're here to give back. We're here to play tic tac toe. We're here to show, I'm here to show my boys that there's more than this them in the world. 
One of our newer projects that we started is the Gleaning Project. And for the Gleaning Project, we are working with local farms to collect more fresh produce to bring into the food bank. We let farmers know that we're willing to do whatever we can to rescue food. Again, we, we don't like to see food waste and we like to get it to people in need. So uh, towards the end of the year, as the frost approached, uh, we were called by three different farmers to go out and do that last harvest. And we got a lot of food by doing a lot of great food. Spring of 2008 was the first year for the Gleaning Project and even just working with those three farms we were able to collect over 4,000 pounds of produce. And we had consistent volunteers who were willing to drive out once or twice a week in about an hour drive each time just to help on the field. We would not be able to do this program without volunteers. It's a really good gig we've got here. and We help a lot of people. If we can get more food, that'd be great. Hunger is, is really a persistent and pervasive problem and unfortunately it's become even more so in the last year or two. Well I would say that if there's a business that is throwing away you know, good food and they know it's good food, then they're really not trying to be a part of the community. Bloomington, Indiana is an excellent community to live in and everybody here should really try to be a part of that community. Um, we have a very small staff, a very small paid staff and we could not do the things that we do without relying on volunteer support. And it's never enough. We ha there's always more that we could be doing or should be doing or should be getting done and we need volunteers to help us make that happen. I still think we have our roots as a grassroots organization. One of our major missions is to serve these agencies. Uh, and to provide them as much food as we can and, and that's been our mission from the beginning and, and still is right now.